Uh, meantime, watching FedEx shares have been all over the map today. A company posting its third straight drop in quarterly revenue, sales down 10, profit outlook disappoints amid some weaker demand. Joining us today is Stiefel's global logistics analyst, Bruce Chan, who has a buy and downgraded uh, price target of 259. Bruce, it's great to see you. Um, where do you think, does, is the price action telling us anything uh, this morning after last night? Yeah, thanks for having me on, Carl. Um, you know, good question. I think, uh, you know, as you pointed out, we've seen, uh, you know, the price kind of all over the map today. Uh, I think really what uh, this is suggesting is that, you know, the market outlook, uh, frankly, is, is quite uncertain as we, you know, look out over the next year or so. Uh, you know, the company highlighted on its earnings calls that um, the real delta in its guidance range really uh, depended on a range of outcomes in, you know, what the macro could potentially provide in terms of, you um, you know, a, a backdrop for revenue growth with, you know, 1% or so in revenue growth bringing uh, the low end of the guidance range and about 3% in revenue growth bringing the upper end of the guidance range. You know, what we're seeing now in terms of the volume environment is that, um, you know, while uh, volumes on the express and ground side are still uh, squarely, you know, negative territory, uh, we have seen that, you know, kind of inflection point um, where, uh, you know, the volume declines are getting smaller and smaller, uh, again, at least on the express and ground side. Right. So, so cost discipline, you think, still is the, the chief dynamic, and that's, that's why you argue risk is to the upside? It is, and, and that's really, uh, you know, I think what's underpinning our call and, um, you know, our, our valuation rating, because what we're looking at at this point is, you know, what's pretty close to a trough, um, you know, valuation multiple, and with, you know, $4 billion in run rate savings as a result of the Drive program initiative and, you know, potentially another couple billion from, um, you know, this network 2.0 integration, which is a little bit further afield, you know, we have to believe that uh, we're, we're pretty close to uh, trough earnings at this point, uh, unless we were to see a major devolution in the macro backdrop, which, you know, isn't out of the question, but uh, certainly not our base case at this point. Right. Well, we mentioned earlier they, they have a history of being a little conservative on their guidance. Uh, We'll see if this is another example of that. Uh, Bruce, we've got Powell here, so we'll keep it short. But thanks for the time today. Appreciate it. Great. Thanks a lot.